What's going on guys, my name is Vix and welcome to Back in the Day episode 4. In this episode we are gonna go to Disneyland, Disneyland, woof woof, I don't even know why I did that. So, I think I was 11 years old or I was, maybe I was 10, I think I was 10 or 11 and I was young at the time and we went to Disneyland. It was kind of on the whim so we didn't like really plan it, so we just went for it, we just winged it and uh, it we, we did whatever we could. So it was a brief stay, we only stayed there for like three or four days, oh, no it was four days, five nights and we only stayed there for that long. So it was good fun, I mean we, we were rushing to do everything and it was a lot of fun, it was like just just a split second holiday, it was my family, uh, two of my mum's mum and dad's friends families and the kids, there's loads of kids, but um, what one family, they thought I was the troublemaker, you know like the, the only kid who does all the trouble and every single thing that would go wrong or everything that a kid did wrong would go on me, so I, they used to call me the leader because I used to lead the kids into trouble and uh, I, I was like yeah I'm the leader, I'm the hero of this gang so I can do whatever the hell I want. So that's what they called me and I was like fine do one, I don't care if you call me the leader, I like being the leader, that's how I roll. So Vix is now the leader and uh, my mum used to be very pissed off because uh, she hated when people called me the leader, she she never knew I was innocent when I was, I was all the time innocent, uh, I always used to do some, I always used to do something right and I used to get the blame for doing the wrong thing and whatever, who cares. So. We went to Paris, and the first the first day we got there, it was already night time, so we decided to just go to sleep in the hotel, and I can't remember the hotel's name. We all we were all tired because of the flight, uh, it was only like a few hours flight, but we were all tired anyway because we had to get up early, the customs, the airport, blah blah blah. So, ever seen Home Alone, because this should remind, me of, remind you of uh, Home Alone, because it actually happened to me. So, uh, we got to the aeroplane, I was on the aeroplane of course, it's not totally like Home Alone, but a little bit. So I got in the aeroplane and uh, we went to Paris, we, we got there in France, Paris, and uh, the hotel was right next to Disneyland so that was pretty cool, and we just, st we just stayed there for the night. Next morning we woke up, we all got tickets to go to Disneyland, so we went to Disneyland but we, uh, we scoped it out, I don't remember how it is now because I've not been there recently. But oh, back then you had to buy tickets to get into Disneyland and there's like sections, so one section would be the movie studio, the other section would be the space section, and the other section would be like a grassy section, and it would just go on like a theme basis. I don't know how it's like now, it's probably still the same because of budget cuts and stuff, but maybe they've added new attractions and stuff. And I used to remember one, one ride, it was called Space Mountain, oh my god that ride shit me up to the max. So, when I finally uh, done it, when I finally got there, um, I think it was the second day now and we went back to Disneyland again because you can use your tickets over and over again and at least that's how it was at the time for, until like a week was up. So we used them again, the same tickets, and we got back into Disneyland and this time we were all going for autographs. And the kids, uh, me and the other guys, the kids and girls, we all had like a bet whoever got the most autograph wins and that was basically it. We won't get anything uh, special, just who got the most autographs would win. And knowing my nature, I hate losing and I hated losing at the time so I would go for it. I, would, I don't care what would happen but I would go for it. So the first autograph, well, I, I got loads, I got, I got, well, I can't remember his name. I got Daffy Duck, I got Goofy, I got Minnie Mouse, and uh, then I was about to get to Peter Pan's, but when I was about to get to Peter Pan's, my family and everyone else, they were all moving on to go to the space section, all the kids were with my family going on, and I was saying, please dad, let me get Peter Pan's autograph, he's like, no, we can get it later, and I knew from my dad's nature that we wouldn't go get our Peter Pan, I want to get my Peter Pan autograph, so... What I decided to do, I ran away from the group, which uh, which was pretty bad. So I ran away from the group and uh, I, I went, I ran after Peter Pan, and Peter Pan, the douchebag, he started running away from me. I was like, Peter, give me your goddamn autograph, and I'm running like a little a kid, just asking to for his autograph, and he's just running away from me. Eventually, I catch up to him, but boy, that bastard was fast. I mean, he was so skinny, and he was just like legging it with the Peter Pan green tights on. And I was like, let me have your autograph, please. <laughs> And he finally gave me his autograph, so that was all cool. But then I had to run back to the group, and they were getting on like the train which leads to the next section of Disneyland. So I was like, all right, uh, my family was already on the train, and uh, I was trapped in the queue with uh, everyone else, and I was like, oh, shit. So my uncle, he runs back, and he, he pegs it. He full on like Usain Bolts it back to the front of the line. And he's like, uh, he grips me takes me over the rail and he's like, he's with us, please let him go with us, and the train's like moving, it's moving as he's doing this, and he grips me, gets me on the train, and uh, then I got yelled at again, the leader strikes again, uh, all, all the parents were uh, arguing all over me, and uh, all the kids were like, what have you done, Vix, and 
uh, it was all my fault, but I still didn't let that get me down. Now, uh, the main attraction was Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is like the biggest Disneyland guy ever, an epic lag. What the hell? It just lagged into that bloody bus. So Mickey Mouse is like the main attraction and uh, he is incredibly hard to find. He will come in certain places and uh, I had to go information gathering like Assassin's Creed and I was like, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, where the hell is Mickey Mouse? And people spoke French so I was like, the Mickey Mouse? And he was like, there's a movie star deal. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I understand. So I finally pegged it to the movie studio and everyone was uh, sitting down. They were all tired because I was dragging them along over here, over there, and they're all complaining and stuff. So they all wanted to sit down. So I was like, all right, you guys sit down. I'm going to go inside the movie studio and check out if Mickey Mouse is there. So I was, I, I made this clear at the time. I was like, please just stay here. So I went to the, I went to inside the movie studio and I was looking around and um, <laughs> I, I got distracted. I got really distracted. What happened was, I. There was a, there's like in in Paris you can actually just look at the stuff that got all the toys all the uh, gadgets and stuff in the shops so you could look at them you could play with them because they're already equipped with batteries and stuff so it's play 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 and uh, it's a lot of fun so you, I, I got distracted in that little shop with loads of gadgets and stuff I remember this one gadget where you would turn it on and it would vibrate so it was like a big ass Mickey Mouse hand vibrator that you could shove up someone's <coughs> <laughs> but it was pretty epic. Uh, I also found the Buzz Lighter spinny uh, top thing, so that was pretty cool. There were so many, and I remember like it just like it was back in the day. Uh, did you get it back in the day? And the title back in the day? oh, you you get it, you get it. You know what I'm saying. So it was it was really loads of fun. And then uh, Mickey Mouse was nowhere to be found, so I went back outside, and what do you know? The family wasn't there. So I was like, I was screwed. I was like, oh shit. And uh, the family was gone, and I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do now? So, I decided to uh, just look around and maybe I can find the family. I was starting to get really worried. I was, you know, crying and stuff. I was a little kid, man. Give me a break. Vix was crying. I, I literally was uh, pissing my pants. And then I found Mickey Mouse, and all my pain went away. I was like, yeah, Mickey Mouse. I speeded it up here because I don't need to see all the boring gameplay. So Mickey Mouse was found and uh, I was like, yes, I'm the first one to get Mickey Mouse's autograph. So I got Mickey Mouse's autograph and um, since I had no parents and anyone else with me, I was lost in Paris, uh, in Disneyland. Officially, I was lost in Disneyland and I decided to just follow Mickey Mouse around. So I followed Mickey Mouse around and uh, I'm sorry guys if you don't know this, but I, I couldn't believe it. I was a 10-year-old kid. And I was traumatized for the rest of my life because I followed Mickey Mouse and uh, he eventually went into his trailer and he took his mask off and he was a guy. Oh my god, I know, I know. Mickey Mouse was just a costume. It was not real. Oh my god, damn it. It was so sad. I was traumatized for the rest of my life. And uh, I was a kid, man. Give me a break. I couldn't believe Mickey Mouse was a costume guy. And uh, he was so soft, though. So soft and cushiony with all the padding in the suit and stuff. I was like, oh my god, Mickey Mouse is not real. And, and then I started thinking, what about Peter Pan and all them? Are they real or not? And uh, one thing led to another. And I, now I was officially sad. I, I was like, oh, mommy, I want my mommy. And uh, I was crying and I was crying. But we are getting to the end of this video. So I may, uh, I'm going to split this into two parts. So this is the first part, guys. So I was crying now and eventually uh, the Paris people picked me up and they were like, Je vous pomage, and I was like, I want my mommy, and uh, they, did, I, I couldn't understand them. They were speaking French, for God's sake. I mean, the only French words I knew were Jamapel and uh, Arigato, and that Arigato is fucking Japanese as well. So I didn't even know where that came from. So Jamapel, and that's it. And that's all I could say. And they finally realized I was English, and uh, I was taken to you know Disneyland. Uh, headquarters where all lost and found kids go and I was stuck there I was crying my parents were nowhere to be found I was scared I was a little kid and uh, I was lost in Disneyland forever and ever thanks for watching what will happen to Vix now I don't know why I've gotten in this tone but peace out